days lengthen into weeks at Nuremberg as British and American prosecutors pile up a mountain of evidence against the Goering gang. Documents so secret that Hitler allowed no more than half a dozen copies to be made have been produced in open court. Every move in the world's biggest criminal conspiracy is being laid bare. To help the tribunal, a chart has been made showing the successive steps in the Nazi ladder of power. To follow me down the center line of the chart, we come to the main horizontal line of division where the word rice lighter it was about this time that the trial's hottest sensation broke. Hess sat up and took notice. After telling the judges that his loss of memory plea was a sham put on to deceive the court, he got busy with his defense counsel. This unexpected news item jerked the mass of newsreel, press and radio men into action. Hess got a big kick out of his insanity gag but before the trial's over, he may wish he really had lost his memory. For what things he has to remember, this one-time deputy of Adolf Hitler. Now he's only got Goering to talk to. But after all those hours of silence, Hess has one or two things to say. An American psychiatrist, not the one who said Hess was batty, has described Goering as rather like a big boy. The idea probably arose from watching the fat thug on one of the rare occasions when he scored a point over the prosecution. Gave expression to a typographical error that was uh, that was General Blomberg instead of von Barker. We are able, said the American prosecutor, to reveal the truth about the fraud practiced by Nazi leaders. Meantime, with the British prosecution taking over, the hearing continues. 